Hey YouTube, today I'm bringing you some quick little finds that I had at a local card shop, as well as some cards that I bought off another guy. A um, little collection of his, not too many cards, but I think I did pretty well on it overall. So I'm gonna go hop right into the stuff I found at the card shop. It's not too much stuff, just cards I found pretty cool. It, it's all Japanese, because I'm in Japan. But two DT Icarus attacks, rares. Uh, this guy, the Dark on Dragon, Judgment Dragon, Trishula thing, and then the Five God Dragon, all Japanese. And then I have Ultimate Rare Punishment Dragon, Ultimate Rare whatever that is, I don't know. I thought it was really cool, so I went and picked it up. The original art for Centrix, gotta have one of those. Um, three Ultimate Rare. Whatever these are, I don't know its name, but it's Ultimate Rare and it's Gladiator Beast, and it's beautiful, so I love it. And then one of the two favorite cards I found in it was a DT Japanese Dark Paladin, as well as a Gold Rare Dark Paladin. I'm finding that the more I play this game, the more I really actually like at least the first wave series of Gold Rares. Big fan of those. I think they look really good. Now onto the collection. Um, I will tell you the piles and what I pay for each one. Overall, I paid $238, but I think I definitely got my monies back for for what I paid for. Some of the cards I overpaid a lot because I didn't know their exact prices, so I definitely gave him <laughs> too much money on some of it, but you'll see once I hop right in there. So first thing, I'm going to start out these cards I all paid a dollar for. I didn't look up the price of almost anything, it was just based off general feeling, um, and some of it was a real hit or miss. But I have Glory of the Hand, uh, Duelist Kingdom, Set for Sale, this stuff. I paid a dollar for these. They're actually going for about 30, like 35 to 50 cents, depending on where you get it. I don't have a problem for a dollar. I think if I wait, I don't plan on getting rid of any of this stuff for the most part, but if I just wait, these will probably go up. I don't see why these wouldn't go up at some point in the future. There's no reason for them unless they just get reprinted to infinity and beyond then i got some dude royal decree again didn't check the price on it but i play a lot of goats so i figured it'd be cool to have one of those two legendary collection one blue eyes white dragons i figure blue eyes is always a decent collection kind of card i don't know how much they're going for but for a dollar it's not that big of a loss the alternative Alternative Art Neos. I didn't have one, so I went and picked that up. My favorite card, and I actually got two of them. Stars Dragons. So that's pretty cool. Then I got this Japanese rarity Black Luster Soldier. Could always have more of those. And a movie pack one blue eyes white dragon. And then two CT 14s blue eyes white dragons. Then just some commons that I think are all definitely worth more than a dollar. I got Pot of Greed, which I know every Pot of Greed is going about 4 or $5 each. Um, again, it's not about the money, but did I plus? I like to know. I like to be open with what I bought and how much I got. And then the rest of these were also a dollar. Common BLS, probably probably a few bucks there. Probably about another 4 or $5 card, I'm sure. Two Mirror Force, those might be a dollar. I don't know. A Gaia, I know Gaia is just randomly getting popular so this might be worth something i don't know but common guys can't go wrong and then this card just can't go wrong at all is a dark magician girl dragon knight um i assume that this common's probably worth more than a dollar just because of what it is and i know their the original printing of that is extremely expensive now but whatever go on to the cards that cost how much i pay for these I paid two dollars for these so i paid for this Whatever this is. I think this has all the reprint alternative art, Dupo, whatever cards inside of it, sealed. So I have all those. I'm gonna keep that sealed. I don't like unsealing that kind of stuff. Big fan of sealed stuff. Uh, D-U-D-E Trishula, pay two bucks for that. That might not be worth a whole lot. Archfiend's Manifestation, no idea what that is, but really cool looking card. Um, I'm a big fan of Summon Skull and his artwork, so I picked that up. Uh, Magician of Black Chaos Max. Turns out these are only 50 cents. I paid $2. 
whatever, it's two dollars. That artwork is amazing. Blue Eyes Chaos Dragon Max First Ed. This might be a bit more than two dollars. Not sure on that one. And a Magician of Chaos, which I think is actually just about two dollars, two or three. So pretty good on that. Um, yeah, if you guys see something in here and you do know the price of it off the top of your head, let me know because I'm, uh, I'm very interested in that. Ties of the Brethren, which I think is also about a $3 card. Skull Servant, and all these cards are also mint, but not first head, so it's about a $6 card for the ultra rare. Uh, Elemental Hero Flare Neos, not first head. This is sitting around 5, between 4 and 5. And then Blue Wise Alternative, which is a dollar. Alternate. Alternative Ultimate Dragon, which is a dollar, but that card art's fantastic, and now I never have to worry about getting one again. Finally, a Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight, which is actually a $10 card. So that was a <laughs> big win there. That's definitely going in my Keep Forever type binder. Next are cards I paid $6 for these. I got two of these Raigekis, which I think are, I think they're only like $4, not, not a big loss there. I got, I paid for Red Eyes Alternative, which turns out it's only $1. Whoops. Paid six bucks for that, whatever. Blackstone, a legend, that's about $6. So, no big deal. Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, or White Dragon Ultimate Rare. Um... I think it's a little bit more. I know the first eds are going for 30, nope, I wanna say between 40 and 50. So alternate rares are definitely, or the non-first eds are definitely nowhere near that. But I think they're sitting at probably like the $10 mark at least for near mints like it is. And then the last card that I paid uh, $6 for was this awesome, very mint condition summon skull. Unlimited, so it's about a $20 card. Their first ed, oh, that'd be insane, but for unlimited, $20, so. I think I did pretty good on all of those besides that red eyes, but it's whatever, no big deal. It's a cool card to have. And then we go to cards I paid $8 for. Here I took my absolute biggest loss, is I paid $8 to this Dark Magician Girl, had no idea what, why gold mean, means. Turns out it was something awful. It's only like a dollar paid eight dollars for this dark magician girl i figured dark magician girls are probably worth something i don't know but that's like a four dollar card i think and then i got a nibiru that i paid eight dollars for and that's about fifteen dollars now and then dark ruler no more which is about 12 12 to 13 so again i think i did okay there those dark magicians hurt but dark magician girls <laughs> those hurt but no big deal i paid 20 so here are the bigger cards i paid 20 for this gate guardian now you can see e triple zero so you do know that that's the um the reprint set of it so i paid 20 i think it's going for about 40 to 50 give or take either way it's a secret rare gate guardian 20 bucks i already know that that's less than what it currently cost so good stuff there and here are my last two cards these two i think it did really well on i got I paid 70 for this. This is the most expensive card. It was Appaloosa. I paid 70 for First Ed Secret Rare. Now, I do know that the Gold Rare was just announced. However, if the Gold Rare is being printed, I'm going to assume right away that Appaloosa, that's going to be its only reprinting. It's not going to be reprinted as a Secret Rare in some kind of Mega 10 or anything of that sort. So, putting money into this and it's currently about $100, between 90 and 100. I don't see that going down anytime soon, especially if it's only be, this is a very collectible card. It's a very playable card, um, very much in the same style as Stardust Dragon around its time. So what I see happening with this is the way, playing out, like I said, very similar to Stardust Dragon. The, was it Starfoil? <laughs> Whatever it's called, that super expensive rarity stays expensive equal to the ghost rare while the secret rare i think will match a similar road as the ultimate rare stardust dragon as long as it's not reprinted as a secret rare so 74 while it's going for 100 i think it's only going to go up if it doesn't go up i don't think i'll ever lose less than 70 on it uh 
Besides, I don't plan on trading it, so I'll always have that value until you get rid of it. That's something, that's something else. And this was the coolest card I think I found. The guy said he already got rid of the Dark Magician that he had, but this really cool ultimate rare, gold rare, blue eyes white dragon that he got from, what was it? Those little Yu-Gi-Oh gold rare starter sets or something like that. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it's a Japanese product only, but this card looks absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's no reason in the future this card's not gonna be worth just a tremendous amount. Once that, that set's like a lot more unavailable in the future. I paid $30 for this. I think right now it retails between 40 and 50. Um, I only found one on eBay, but it came with this incredible plastic case as well as just being an amazing card. I, this card, I think this card has a huge chance to go way up in value in the future. Um, so I paid $238 for this stack. I think between the Blue Eyes, Appaloosa, the Gate Guardian, and the Summon Skull, I really feel like between these cards alone, I got my value back. On top of that, when you add in the Nibiru, Dark Ruler No More, Blue Eyes White Dragon, and Dark Magician, this guy, I think I definitely, definitely did better than what I paid for. But let me know what you guys think. That's all I have for right now. And remember to like, comment, subscribe, and have a wonderful day. Bye.